Practice is important in mathematics just as it is in music. Okay, the task today is to evaluate this triple integral over this volume. So this E, don't get all bent around the axle with that, the E is just the region of space, the volume of three-dimensional space, enclosed by the paraboloid, z equals 1 plus x squared plus y squared, the circular cylinder, x squared plus y squared equals 5, and the xy plane. So here we're going to, uh, to interpret the problem, we're going to use cylindrical coordinates to evaluate the integral. Alright, so to, to develop the problem, we need to have a picture here. And if you haven't noticed yet, I don't have the greatest artistic skills, but a rough sketch can be very useful in getting our mind around what a problem is really asking us to do. So the paraboloid, z equals 1 plus x squared plus y squared, is just starts at z equals 1 at x and y equals 0. And it kind of, like a parabola, but it's like a parabola that's kind of been rotated about uh, the z-axis to make that paraboloid. Now the cylinder, x squared plus y squared equal 5, well, if we were to think about what that is in the xy plane, that's a cylinder with a radius square root of 5. So in the xy plane, it's just a circle with radius square root of 5. And the square root of 5 is just a smidge bigger than 2. So, I don't know, given the circle perspective, it kind of looks like an egg or an ellipse. And then it goes up and it intersects the paraboloid. So the paraboloid is like the top lid of the region of space that we're interested in. The xy plane itself, so equals zero, is the bottom. And then the sides are formed by the right circular cylinder, x squared plus y squared equals five. All right, so the plan is to set up the integral Uh, and we need to be careful along the way to convert to cylindrical coordinates. And then we can uh, evaluate. So setting up the integral has to do with converting to cylindrical coordinates and also uh, taking some care with our limits of integration. And we're going to evaluate in MATLAB. All right. So let's go ahead and recall a little bit about cylindrical coordinates. Cylindrical coordinates is just x squared plus y squared equals r squared. z is the same as z. And then theta goes from 0 to 2 pi to integrate all the way around. So it's kind of like polar coordinates uh, in this case. All right, so setting up the integral, triple integral. Well, the integrand e to the z is still e to the z. And our inside variable of integration, uh, we always have an r and then we can go dz, dr, d theta. And an r always pops out uh, from the Jacobian when you're working an integral in cylindrical coordinates. And if you prefer not to worry too much about things like Jacobians, you just remember that dx, dy, dz, once you go to cylindrical coordinates, becomes r, dr, d theta, dz. And now we're, uh, we've commuted the dz to the beginning because we're going to integrate from z equals zero, our lower bound, up to our upper bound is z equals one plus x squared plus y squared. And then r goes from zero to the square root of five because that's where the boundaries of the cylinder are. 
and theta goes from 0 to 2 pi. So everything's set up now. Now we just need to go over to MATLAB and complete the evaluation. And what are we expecting for this integral? Well, one of the things that we're expecting is we're expecting it to be a positive number because e to the z is positive and we're integrating above the z equals zero plane uh, everywhere. And we're expecting it probably not to be too humongous. It would surprise me if it were, well, I'm, I'm going to ballpark this around 100 or so because the integrand and the volume of integration, although it might be get as large as a thousand, but something like a million or a billion would be way too big. All right, so here we are in MATLAB, and I need to correct. Uh, I wrote as our limits of integration a moment ago. The upper limit uh, in z I wrote as 1 plus x squared plus y squared, and of course we'd convert that to r squared. So we want to sims uh, z, r, and theta real, and then we make our inside integral equal to the integral of e to the z times r, first over the variable z, uh, from 0 to 1 plus r squared. And it'll think about that for a minute, and then it comes up with the expression. And then the middle integral is equal to uh, the integral over the variable, well, the integrand is the inside integral, the variable is r, and we're going from 0 to the square root of 5. And now the outside integral, which is the same as the final answer, is equal to the integral of the inside integral, oops, over the middle integral, and now the variable is theta from 0 to 2 pi. All right, now this is a re re relatively uh, non-trivial answer, and it looks like it's going to be negative, but then we can convert it to a decimal using the eval. So we eval the outside integral, and it tells us that um, the answer is 1.243 times 10 to the third. So actually it was a little bit bigger than a thousand, but this isn't so much bigger than a thousand that it causes this cause for concern, uh, because really that's 1,243.2. So that's uh, within the bounds of reasonableness because it's positive and it's about the right order of magnitude.